Make America Great Again poses a very, very important question. Because if it says make America great again, it means that America was great once. And then the question is begged, when were we great? And what would depict us as great? And for who were we great? If you're a Native American, there's hardly any time in U.S. history that you'd ever say make America great again, unless you said make America great again, 1491. If you're a black in the United States, there are not many chapters in American history in which you could say great again. <laughs> I don't know that you could even say great now. I don't think you could say great ever. And yet there's this hat and there's these people who wear this hat and no one ever tells me when we were great because my question's always for who? Because unfortunately America who used to say once upon a time, we were a melting pot. I would say we're more of a tossed salad, and I don't know that we really have melted together very well at all in many respects. So then I have this question to ask you, and then this hat to wear, and this picture that you'll see on the screen. If there was a hat that said MJGA, and it had a rising sun on it, make Japan great again, back when we were strong and tough and rough, and we had just bombed Pearl Harbor, would that be an okay thing? I mean, if you saw that, would that be something that would be worthy of pride? If you said, make Germany great again. <laughs> you see wh where I'm going? <laughs> like, where on earth and when on earth would you go to Germany where they were great? And for who? You certainly couldn't do it during the Nazi era. Like, you couldn't say, make Germany great again and have a little swastika there. Or you could have one of those helmets with a little spike on the top of the hat. And you say, well, back when Germany, before World War I, that was when Germany was great again. And there wasn't anything wrong with Germany then. Just before they did, you know, all the things they did in World War I. Not to suggest that they're at fault for World War I, because that's ridiculous. And if anybody who really knows the history of World War I knows that that's ridiculous. But they were blamed for World War I. And if they hadn't been blamed for World War I... Maybe Hitler wouldn't have had so many people listening to him spout off about, let's make Germany great again. Because I still can't figure out, to save my life, when you're talking about. And there's lots of people who write, make America great again, that wear those hats. If you're only talking about one people for America, then you don't understand America. And maybe you should watch my Pledge of Allegiance video or the Ironies of Slavery video or any countless numbers of videos that I've done or other people have done. I'll see you next time. Thank you.